Hi, use it or lose it friends. This is Shane back to help you learn how to keep food out of the landfill and get every penny for, from your food dollar. So today is a sort of a Labor Day special. So what does Labor Day say to you? Barbecue or cookout. Uh, and maybe you have some vegetarian or vegan friends at your cookout. What are you gonna do? Well, today I'm gonna make a little meal that is appropriate for any time, uh, especially meatless Mondays. Uh, it is a pulled pork barbecue sandwich, except instead of pork, we're using spaghetti squash. Because let's face it, once you throw that barbecue sauce on there, it doesn't really matter what it's covering. So, in addition to that, we're pairing it with some traditional barbecue items, i.e. coleslaw, which I happen to like on top of my barbecue, and cauliflower potato salad. So that's that potato salad made with cauliflower instead of potatoes from a previous episode. So what's different about our coleslaw is this is the super easy, lazy Shane kind of coleslaw. So uh, I'm going to get that started first because I want all the flavors to blend together. So as usual, I'm cooking for one person, so remember to multiply. So here I have about a cup of chopped cabbage. I have maybe a little too much uh, chopped onion. It's probably about a quarter of a cup. Ordinarily, I would use more like two tablespoons, but hey, that's what I chopped up. So in that goes. And now comes the easy breezy, super secret, lazy shame ingredient. I use a bottled creamy salad dressing to use for my coleslaw dressing. And in this case, it's Bolt House Farms Chunky Blue Cheese. What's great about this, it's only 30 calories for two tablespoons. So it really helps save those calories. And it's an interesting flavor twist for your coleslaw. So we're gonna dump about two tablespoons on there and get that mixed up. This is probably more than I need for one serving, but that's okay, I'll still eat it. Ah. And today, I don't happen to have any buns, so I'm just using whole wheat bread that I've toasted well, and that was just the beeping to let me know the bread is ready. Okay, maybe just a skosh more. There we go. All right. So next, I have a half a cup of already cooked spaghetti squash. I made a big spaghetti squash that I got at my neighborhood farmer's market. And uh, I gotta say, the fresh is better than what I get at the grocery store because the strands are really much more intact than the ones that have been around a little while. So I'm adding my favorite barbecue sauce. You can make your own sauce if you want to. But hey, remember, this is Lazy Shane working here. So I'm just going to squirt some of this already made, raised, no sugar added barbecue sauce. So I'm going to squirt some of that in there and get that stirred up good. There we go. So to this one cup of uh, spaghetti squash, I added probably three tables, two to three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, which is more than enough to flavor that spaghetti squash. Because let's face it, spaghetti squash is a vehicle. It takes on the flavor of whatever you put on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Okay, so that was in the microwave, two and a half minutes, plenty to have it come out piping hot. So now we're going to assemble. So 
I'm going to put my barbecue on the bread. Probably a little more than should, but what the heck. It's going to spill out the sides, but that's okay. I have a spoon. Mm. Now I'm going to add my coleslaw. Top that with the other slice of bread. And here it is. So honestly, this took about five minutes total, aside from having to chop up the cabbage and the onion and making the uh, cauliflower salad uh, because I happen to have some left over. So uh, that didn't take any time. So here it is, our lovely picnic barbecue spaghetti squash sandwich. So great for meatless Mondays. So there it is. I hope you enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Mm, we'll just take a little taste of this. Mm, so good. That's it for today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.